Hey, Oral, what did you put for number three on the science test? Jesus. Ah, oh, of course. Hmm. Hey, Joey, I'll meet you in class. I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Hi, Clicky. Stand up straight. <laughs> Who's having trouble in there? Um, no trouble here, Clicky. That you, Oral? Yes. Uh, you should eat more fruit. Why? Helps you go number two. I'm not going number two. Well, no one should be grunting like that going number one. I'm not going number one either. Well, if you ain't going number one and you ain't going number two, what the hell number are you going? Um, number three? Uh Jesus H. Rodriguez! Oh, so close. What's number three? You know, ain't one or two? Hmm. Number one, gold is the sun. Number two, I need to go poo. Number three, set my sperm for... Oral, you've been masturbating. Yes, Principal Fakey? Clicky, start boiling the bathroom. I'll deal with this one. Yep. Oral, do you know what happens to little boys who masturbate? Well, not until a week ago. But now, my whole world's opened up! It's evil, son. It is? Worse than murder. Yikes. Yikes is right. Why? Uh, why? Well, sit down. Oral, there are some things that are burned so deep into a person's subconscious that you forget just why they're there. You only know that they've scarred you in such a horrible and personal way that they must be right. Oh. But I think I can point you to someone who is scientifically qualified to explain the inner workings of the human body. Who? Principal Fakey is right, Oral. Regular murder is bad enough, but in one disgusting act, you murdered millions of potential people. Whoops. Whoops is right. That's a major sin, my boy. But I didn't know. Oral, haven't you heard the handy rhyme? Number one, gold like God made the sun. Number two, good Lord help me go poo. Number three, the devil sets my sperm free. No. I never heard the Protestant version, Reverend. Well, it's been bastardized over the years. By who? Bastards, Oral. Fatherless bastards. Wow. Anyway, the point is that spilling those seeds is frowned upon by God himself. I'm not just talking some worthless angels or a couple of goofy saints here. God, Oral, the scary guy, hates it when you masturbate. <coughs> it is right. Sperm is there for procreation, not recreation. Jesus? No thanks, Reverend. It's Catholic free. Oh, okay. So, it's not a sin if the seeds are used to make babies. Exactly. I see. Just remember, you're a good looking kid. You don't need to resort to the pathetic, humiliating task of self pleasure. Uh,. But, Reverend Putty, how would I actually go about procreating with my sperm so that I can make babies? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm punching out. See you Sunday. Sperm. <laughs> Why? I mean, yes? Dad, are you busy? A little. Come on in, Oral. What's up? Dad, how do you make babies? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh. No. No. <laughs> no. Hmm. How old are you now, Oral? Nine? Eleven. Mm-hmm. Eleven. Hmm. Oh. Well, this is interesting. Now that you're 11, you can know the real story. Babies are made by God's chef, visiting ladies at night while they're asleep 
and injecting them with the delicious glaze from his holy pastry bag. <laughs> Brilliant. God, Chef. It's all right here in black and white. Hmm. Cleaner, 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 cleaner. Yummy! Shapey, no. No! Not on your life. I have so little left. There, there, little one. Hey, Mom, do you have a pastry bag I can borrow? What's she going to make? My delicious glaze. Mmm. Are you going to make Mommy something nice? Jeez, Mom, you gotta be kidding. God, Chef? Uh-huh. Why? So I can masturbate and go to heaven. It's God's plan. And how are you gonna get it inside the ladies? Doey, don't you ever listen? All I do is sneak into their houses while they're sleeping and squirt my sperm into them. Squirt into where? How? Gosh, I'm not really sure. Well, I guess I'll just have to have faith that God will show me the way. All I need is this holy pastry bag and my seed. He will do the rest. Sounds more like your God's baker to me. Say, I guess you're right, Doey. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> God chef, Oral. Pretty good, I think. Well, it's only been a month, and I've pretty much covered this whole neighborhood with number three. <laughs> Hundreds of married women are mysteriously finding themselves with child in the 18 to 2400 blocks of North Abstinent Way. Horrible. Newlyweds Ricky and Jenny Coldshoulder have no idea how the missus came to be blessed against her will, mm -mm. as they haven't even shared the same bed in their entire three-week marriage. Shocking. Oh. Jesus, crew cuts. <laughs> I'll take him from here, Don. Well... To my study. <laughs> that doesn't explain why you were out past curfew. But, Dad, how else was I going to be God Chef? Ladies needed to be asleep for me to shoot my yummy contents into them. You're not supposed to be God Chef, Oral. God Chef is only a whimsical fellow like Santa or Charles Darwin. Come on, Pop. I'm too old to believe in that stuff. Worthless piece of sugar! All because I didn't want to sin by spilling my seed and not procreating. Is that what this is all about? Yeah. I had a little talk with Reverend Putty. I see. Well, Oral, I think I'm partially to blame for all of this. You see, by not trusting you enough to tell you the truth about procreation, I led you astray as to how God would want you to give women babies. What do you mean, Dad? Well, I mean, the good Reverend was right. Spilling your seed wastefully is a sin but it's also a sin to procreate in odd, exciting ways. Men and women have only one holy position, and that's called the missionary position. The missionary position? Yes, it's the most loving and satisfying position the Bible has to offer. It got its name from missionaries who taught backwards cultures how to have morally righteous sexual intercourse. Neat. Who thought of the missionary position, Dad? I believe it was first developed by Noah who was disgusted by the horny, godless ways of some erotically charged animals on the ark. Wow! And of course, it's the all-important lost 12th commandment. Thou shalt only have sex face to face, man on top. That explains a lot. I was on top, though. Yeah, well, it is also a sin to use fun equipment. Oh. But anyway, in not telling you all the facts to begin with, it was my mistake this time, son, not yours. Then do I get to spank you with my belt? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> <laughs>